Ohayo gozaimasu and a konnichiwa to everyone out there. This is DT again and I have yet another video. Seems like I can't run out of content. Which is good news for you because you get to see the real Japan. And you get to learn how to get things done. And some places to eat while you're at it. Cause we all have to do that. Eat, right? So if you're a pasta guy like me, but don't want to break the bank, I would recommend Jolly Pasta. Now this is most definitely a chain, and this particular one is in Yokosuka City, Kanagawa Ken, at the area below. Also you can get to this one by JR Kurihama Station or KQ Lines Kita Kurihama Station. Now the first station is a 10 minute walk away, but the other one, Kita Kurihama Station is about a 15 to 20 minute walk. So Jolly Pasta isn't a stone's throw away like a McDonald's but they're just about everywhere in Japan. Although I don't see too many on the Kyushu side of Japan. There they have a restaurant called Joyful and it's kind of similar. But for those on the eastern side of Japan, you should definitely be able to find these with some ease. So why don't we go in and see what's up? I want to share a story with you and teach you something also, so don't click ahead with haste. Instead, click the subscribe button below this video or the bottom right corner to stay up to date with all my content and to find my content that much more easily because there are a lot of videos out there but not a lot of real ones with substance now in we go okay so first and foremost this is a family restaurant I am able to bring my infant inside his car seat and he is able to fit inside the booth which by the way in this restaurant most of the seats are booths so that's good also, they have high chairs, which is also very important if you have toddlers. Now in Japan, the Japanese call these baby chairs. So if you want a high chair or any kind of chair, let's say the clip-on table type or the high standing type, they are both called baby chairs. Now let's take a look at this menu. And while you're looking at all this goodness, I want to tell you that story I was referring to earlier. So a few years back, my wife and I were eating here with one of our children. We were leaving to pay and we heard a loud guest in English yelling, No cheese! The Japanese waitress kept saying, Okay, cheese. <laughs> so that made the lady even more irate. The waitress kept her composure and cool while the lady kept trying to talk to her as though the Japanese lady was a Harvard grad and could understand everything she said. The lady's husband kept trying to calm her down but to no avail. So I had to step in and talk to both of them to see what was going on. I already had a feeling that one of them had a food allergy. I just didn't know which one. Presumably lactose intolerance. And so I wanted to tell the waitress what she was saying. Which I did. I was thanked by both and left. The point of the story isn't to give me clout. The point of the story is, well, there are a couple of points. Point one is we have to remember that this is in our country. Depending on your function while you are here, we aren't expected to speak fluent Japanese, but to know enough to get by. So with that, please treat each other with respect, act rationally. If you have a food allergy, then do your homework before heading out so that you can confidently convey your point across. I also have a food allergy, and that's what brings me to my next point. If you have a food allergy and you want to eat at a restaurant in Japan and suspect that your allergen is in the food you are about to order, then tell the waiter or waitress Allelugi ga arimas. This means I have an allergy. If you want to say that your friend that you're dining with has an allergy, point to your friend and say Kono hito or this person Allelugi ga arimas. This person has an allergy. They will ask you which one, and then you can tell them. Now I don't can't <laughs> I can't go through all the allergies, but you can do that yourself. But I will tell you a few. Now just keep looking at the food menu, but still listen closely. Now, if you are lactose intolerant, you would say new sehin. This means you cannot have any dairy products whatsoever in your order. If you have an allergy to, let's say, just cheese, or you just don't want to eat cheese, or you cannot digest it, whatever the case is, then say, cheese ga taberemasen, or 
I can't eat cheese. If you have a nut allergy, just reply nuts <laughs> when they ask what kind of allergy. So really you have two options here, right? Either you can flat out tell them you can't eat something, masan, or you have an allergy, allergy ga arimas. Then explain which one it is. It all depends on the severity of your situation. And for all of you people allergic to tree nuts, I personally feel your pain. And I especially want you to be careful when dining in five-star restaurants in Japan because I don't know why, but it seems like there's always, I mean always, tree nuts hiding in a salad. Trust me, I've been there. Okay, so I am going to order the carbonara. I'm going to get a salad, some garlic bread. Now, most family restaurants have what's called a drink bar in Japan. You pay, let's say, an extra 200 yen with your meal, and you can go up and get free refills. If you want this option, tell them drink bar. Hitotsu for one, Futatsu for two, or Mitsu for three. Also, you can just hold up your fingers when ordering the drink bar. At certain restaurants, children under three years old can get the drink bar for free. Here at Jolly Pasta, the drink bar is included with the kids' meal if it has the drink icon next to the dish. Here is one of the kids' dishes. Came with a drink bar. Some fried chicken. Now this item was seasonal. It isn't on the menu every time. The appetizer, it's a salad. Garlic bread, we all love this, so sometimes we actually have to order another plate. This is Mama T's dish, the veggie pepperoncino. And mine, carbonara. Now sometimes they have another type of carbonara with mozzarella, and that comes and goes on the menu, but this one is always here. Both are very good, and they are both my recommendation. And there you have it. You learn how to tell the waiter, you, your friend, or your date has a food allergy. You know how to ask for a drink bar set, and you learn how to say how many you want. Very valuable stuff. Now as a parent, the last thing I want to do is break out an EpiPen when we are all out having fun, but I will do it if I have to. Luckily for you, you don't have to worry about that. Practice what you've learned here and you will be just fine. And with that, thanks for watching. Come on back, subscribe, because deep down you know my content is super informative, bonafide, and real. And I'll see you on the next one. TT out.